Hello everyone, today we're back with Gunsmith Part 6. We have to modify an AKM with a Fortis Shift Grip. The Fortis Shift is the problem for this build on the flea market. As you can see, it's extremely expensive and you can only buy it from Peacekeeper at level 4. There is one alternative way to get this over on the traders. If you go to Mechanic, we go to Mechanic 1, there's this MPX Barter that you can do and this one has a Fortis Shift Grip on it. It's the only other way to get the grip other than finding it in Raid, which is just completely pure RNG. This is also out of stock because obviously it's in high demand too. So get the shift whichever way you can and then we're going to go over and get an AKM from Prapple. So if we start off, there's two ways to buy the AKM. You could either do the three cans of two Shonka to get them from the flea market, or you could buy it in cash for 43k from Prapple too. Once you have your AKM, we're going to look at this from stock. Now there's two builds for this. I'm going to do one with Mechanic 2 and one without Mechanic 2 in case you're not quite at level 20 yet. The Mechanic 2 build includes the DT Hybrid. This is the Silent Co direct thread mount adapter. And onto this, we put the Hybrid 46. Get this one from the barter. This is the Mechanic 2 part. This is four sticks of ram once we've added that the second part is on the pistol grip you have to use the saw pistol grip for this one to work so you have enough ergo and this one comes from mechanic 2 as well now there's a new hand guard that i decided to use for this which was the dominator which is on skier 2 which is quite good put that on and we can put the fortis shift on top of that then we're going to take off the iron sights and we're going to add the bastion rail Onto this, we're going to choose the cheapest sight, which allows you to get to 800 sighting range, which is actually this one. It's more of a reflex, but it still works and gets you to 800. This is called the Romeo 7, and you can normally find this really cheaply on the flea market. Then we need the magazine that the Quest specifies, which is this Gen M3. It is the PMAG 30 rounder Gen M3 30 round magazine. And then finally, we need to tweak the ergo up just one tiny little bit more. So we're going to buy the RP1 charging handle. This also comes from Skier and gives us one extra ergo. And we can go back and see that this one will work and allow us to hand it in. Now there's another build that I'm going to show you now in case you don't have Mechanic 2. On this one, we're going to use a different suppressor. We will use this basic one here, the Rotor 43 suppressor, and put this on. Then we're going to link search this gas block. So there's the handguard here, which you can just take off if you want. And then this gas block, if you link search this, we can go into handguards, vital parts, handguards, click here and find whichever's the cheapest one on the flea market of the colored MOE AKM. So just scroll through until you find one. Usually they're a little bit cheaper than this. I normally buy mine for about 8k, but sometimes it's the plum one, other times it's the tan one. If we go back this time, I'll just put on the plum. Now onto this, we need the 4.1 inch rail before we can attach the Fortis shift. So we'll stick that on and then we'll put the shift on. Then in the grips, we do need to upgrade this very slightly. We're going to up this to the PP19 grip. This one comes from Prapor. This one gives you half an ergo point more, which is enough to get the build to work. And then we're going to put the bastion on exactly like we did on the other one. We're going to use exactly the same Romeo 7. Again, reattach the magazine, the Gen M3. And this time we're going to use Skier's stock. So we're going to use the PT AKM lock from Skier 2. And on this, we're going to use the PT1. By combining both of these together, we can assemble. And this one is also able to be handed in. So we'll go over to Mechanic. We will hand in Gunsmith Part 6, ready for number 7.